Hello Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lemke here with a, another box breaking from True Gamer Goggles, Gamer-Goggles.com. Today's box breaking is of a game that's actually been out for quite a while, so I'm actually, I guess you could say cheating because we have played this several times. This is a party game from USAopoly, and it's uh, kind of like Telephone. Uh, it's called Telestrations, and what you do is you take telephone, well, if you remember telephone, you had the little cups, and you talk to each other, and you send a message from one person to another. Uh, and basically what you do in Telestrations is you get a card, and, well, we'll, we'll go over that in a second. Uh, inside the box is the rules, which are real simple. That's it. Four pages. Uh, inside the box, there should be six of these sketchbooks. Um, and these are all basically little dry erase boards. And here, here's what happens. You put your name in it. Uh, these cards, which we'll go over in a minute. One of these cards is drawn. And there's a series of words on it, which you roll a die to do that way. And... The word goes here, and then you would pass it, unless you, you know, if you're playing with the right number of people, you would pass it to the right or the left, depending on which turn it is, or which round it is, and then they have to sketch it, and then they would pass without revealing what their, the word is, and the person that they pass to has to guess it, and when it comes first full circle, you kind of go through and talk about what your word was and you kind of award points based on who did what right. Uh, one of the reasons why we're doing the new box breaking is, or the box breaking now, is because of this right here. Telestrations has released the game with new markers, which are actually a lot better. Uh, you can buy the markers, I believe, from them uh, and there's a couple of tricks one trick is uh, rubbing alcohol on your old books if you have the game and you're getting those little uh, marker bunnies on chalkboards you used to call them dust bunnies so on dry erase boards they're marker bunnies uh, and you get a timer because the amount of time you have to think is limited in the game and it is uh, probably about a minute would be my guess and you get the d6 and we'll go over that real quick. This is not going to be a demo, uh, but I wanted to kind of give you a concept since I gave you so much. And I mean, just doing a, a box breaking and teaching you how to play the game does not do it justice. The game is really good. It's critical on all levels of creativity and your thinking process. Uh, for example, if you are the first person, or you, if it's your turn, you might have to write down three little pigs right here. And then when you would pass it, the next person would sketch three little pigs. And the third person would have to guess whatever that drawing was. Now, what's really fun about that is, is a lot of people can't draw so uh, you can get some pretty bizarre things uh, so whoever oh and there's also two sides to these cards so you pick the side too randomly um, and then there's different like the underline has a different function and as we flip through the cards like I rolled a four so this person would have to draw a toilet paper if it was a this side card this person would have to draw a shoulder blade how are you going to end up drawing a shoulder blade? Well, um, you could, there, since you're not allowed to use letters or numbers, you could draw a human being with an arrow pointing to the shoulder and put the plus symbol and draw a sword and draw an arrow to the blade. That would effectively work, but the person who's guessing might not understand that. So. And this person would have to draw Capitol Hill, which shouldn't, well, should be kind of tough. 
actually. Uh, and king size. That would, I would just kind of draw a king size there. Uh, but we're going to go through a few of these cards to give you an idea uh, of some of the things you may or may not have to draw. We have a fat cat, a bus driver, candy corn, Capitol Hill, summer house, and a teacher's pet. Uh, the blank is one where you kind of get to create it. I think. Oh, wait. There is. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This guy means you get to pick. I believe. I don't want to mislead you, so I better double check. I almost always forget what the guy does. Yeah. If you see the little telestrations guy, you get to pick any word you want from the card. Oh, a catnap, carpool, Hollywood, shoulder blade, street corner. Three pigs, tweezers, birdhouse, toilet paper, mushrooms, New Jersey. And now we're going to go back through the that side just to give you an idea. Oh, it was only it was only three cards, but we'll go uh, fruitcake, lovebirds, bumper cards, egg sandwich, kickball, zoo. Might be a little tough to draw a zoo. Uh, best man, cauliflower. Tomato sauce, a blank, which you created. Sweet potato, man overboard. A cartwheel, book title, which means you get to pick a book title because it's underlined. So uh, I could pick uh, Mark Twain's, any of Mark Twain's books. I could pick. Uh, any of the Dragonlance novels, um, just to give you an idea, which that could be pretty hard to draw. <laughs> Mannequin, Bighorn Sheep, Fanny Pack, and Highway Robbery. Now, they also have a Super Party Pack, which is basically two Telestrations games, um, which is how we're gonna we're gonna actually we have another game. We're gonna combine them. And we really bought this largely for the new markers, and so I could do a box breaking on the game. So, inside of the box game Telestrations, you receive the markers you need to play the game, and a couple extra. The little dry erase erasers. Six booklets, so you can play with up to six people. Uh, I'm going to let you know that this game is more fun with more people. The timer. The six-sided die of randomness. The game cards for making your selections. And the rules, which might as well be quick start rules. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite games. It is certainly my daughter's favorite game. She is actually planning on using it in her birthday party uh, with her friends like every other hour so <laughs> it says a lot about the game and if somebody says the game is not fun they're just kind of probably being stubborn or they don't know how to have fun that's my take on it uh, it's been another box breaking of uh, this time telestrations matt limke with true gamer goggles gamer-goggles.com if you like the video, you can follow us by clicking on any of the social media links on the right-hand side of your screen, and have a good